most women are serious, most women are honest, most women are sincere, most women really want to find that right partner. But some women are looking for something different. Let's get into the subject of the day, which is how not to fall into the scam of a woman with who I have a relationship with. What's going on there, right? Why do we talk about that? Most women are serious. Most women are honest. Most women are sincere. Most women really want to find that right partner. But some women are looking for something different. Money, visas, whatever. It's not the majority. I know that the prejudice is that. It's not the majority. But there are some women who like to get you into a scam, you know, because they know it's easy. And sometimes you guys don't see the red flags and spend money and money and money and money to a woman who's really not seriously interested in you if not just in your money and you don't realize it and so let me get you a couple of tips So it is important to build a strong foundation of trust, obviously, and that takes time. So it's not that quick as well. And take your time to get to know the person. I always say that. So first, and I said that in the, all of the other topics of the day as well, open and honest communication. Open and honest communication is key. If you're not open and honest and she's not open and honest and you not tell her what you want and what you expect and what she does, then obviously it's um, very difficult and there might be a lot of disappointment. So having an open and honest discussion about financial expectations, desires and needs. Establish a clear communication about money from the beginning. So what does she expect? What do you expect? I would not talk about it on the first date. You met somebody and you found that person and you start that relationship. Ask her, hey, what is your expectation? What do you think would, should a man support? What would you like? Obviously, liking and getting is one, two different things, right? But just listening to her and then you already get a better idea, you know, and, and also talk about it from the beginning because it might be an issue uh, in the future so the clearer and more honest you can be and also don't be just on your american standpoint understand where she's coming from right and if she says i need 200 dollars a month then you say oh how can she ask for that how's that possible she's taking advantage of me yeah can be and can be not and that's sometimes the problem the more you talk about it in the beginning and the more you know what you want to give and what she know what she can expect the the clearer so 200 dollars a month is not that much and it is normal that the man supports the woman financially the question is when some women do expect it already in the beginning of the dating some women do expect it after a while of the dating some women do expect it when you get engaged some do expect it when you get married you guys most of the times expect to pay money to her once you are in a stable relationship or engaged to her once you are engaged to her you most of the times very open to spend your money with her as long as you're not engaged you're not which is understandable but just because you're engaged doesn't mean that can be the scam the scam can be exactly that i get engaged to you and i know you're going to spend on me without any problem so not engaged engaged serious relationship or not it's important to talk about the expectations verify authenticity if your partner requests money for a specific situation for example my mom is in the hospital ask for evidence or proof to support her need make sure the request is legitimate so that sounds maybe like very like you're not trusting her but you why would you trust her right away and if she wants your money she has a good reason then she might have a photo of her mom lying in the hospital right or of her son sick or whatever or the uh, rent which has to be paid and whatever mm, there are different as i said you have to to see where where is the authenticity and why is she request requesting us next tip is don't share personal financial information avoid disclosing sensitive financial information such as credit card numbers or passwords unless you have a complete trust in your partner and there's a valid reason to do so yes some of you guys want to show off a little bit what you can offer her and what you can provide and how good of a provider you are and that is great that you are a good provider and you can let her know that you are a good provider but you cannot let her know how much and what enters and how much is your house worth and how much is on your bank account i got bank account statements from clients Say, look how much I have on my bank account. Say, that's great, but never send it to a woman. Searching for that one special woman to complete your life? Check out our website at china-brides.com.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.